Welcome back to my YouTube channel guys. My name is Ted Chu, currently a medical student, third year, starting my clinical rotation. But that's enough about me. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about an Anki add-on that I've been using for a while. And this add-on will make Anki your if you guys have been using Anki for a while, you probably know that Anki can be, the, the algorithm can be a little too rigid. What do you want to see the cards again in 7 days? Anki is going to say, no, you just see them again in 20 days. But you say, Anki, I don't think you're going to remember it's 20 days. But Anki say, it doesn't matter, you got to see it again in 20 days. Or you can see it again tomorrow, but you can't see it in 7 days. Another problem is that if you start hitting again just so you can see the cards, earlier or you start hitting hard even though the card was easy for you at the time and you don't hit easy because you're scared that the interval is way too long then when you hit hard and easy it's actually gonna make it's gonna change the ease factor of the card and we don't want that would we this add-on will let you take control of exactly when you want to see your card again and you have the option to actually mess with the ease factor you want or not it will allow you to set the card to the exact date that you want to see the card without messing up the ease factor. Let's get into it guys. So this add-on I'm going I'm to introduce to you guys called a Rememorize Rescheduler with Siblings and Logging add-on. So this should work with older 2.0 version of Anki and the new 2.1 version of Anki that's been updated. I've been using it. So as you can see here, if you put a negative sign when you bring up the menu to re-memorize the card, it actually won't mess with the ease factor of the card. And if you were scheduled to see the card in 21 days, you can set it to see in 10 days. If you put a minus sign there, you're going to see the card in 7 days and your interval will still be 21 days. What happens if you don't put the minus sign? You don't put the minus sign then you would just reschedule the card to an interval of 7 days but then when you see the card again in 7 days it's going to use whatever ease factor the card was at to give you the next interval for example if I was supposed to see the card in 30 days so one month from now and I say wait Anki one month is too long let me see the card again in 10 days okay so you have two options at this point you can put a minus sign at 10 days and what this will do is that it will let you see the card again 10 days from now and then when you see the card and you get it right if you hit the next interval like space bar it's gonna say 30 days from now but if you don't put the minus sign of 10 days then you will still see the card again in 10 days but now the next interval that you will see for the good is gonna be 10 days times whatever ease factor you have so let's say the card was a perfect ease factor which is uh, 2.5 I mean you will see the card again in 25 days so when should you use this add-on for me personally I usually put a minus sign in front of the card so let's say if I want to see the card again before Anki algorithm let me so if I knew my test was coming up in a week and the next interval was gonna be two weeks 14 days I would use the minus sign like okay I want to make sure I see this card again in six days right before my test just so I don't forget it just in case and it will still keep me the same schedule when I actually reset the whole thing um, just putting no minus sign just a no, just a number on there is when I will see the card and I will understand the concept but I got it wrong but seeing it the next day would be overkill so I'll be like oh yeah that was a silly mistake I kind of read the question wrong or whatever I would use the plus sign or not even just no minus sign and just reset the card to maybe like five or six days instead of you know one day so those are the two situations where I use the most I also use it when maybe um I just because I have my setting as that after 30 seconds the card would show the answer by itself sometimes I'm you know off doing something I kind of forget or I wasn't paying attention and the answer would pop up or you know maybe I accidentally press the space bar and the answer popped up before I was able to tell me myself the answer. I just don't want to reset the card and get it wrong because you technically didn't get it wrong, just didn't get a chance to answer it. I would kind of bury the card using this add-on. So I put a minus sign 
and I'll set it like oh a week from now or something just to make sure or maybe two weeks just to make sure that I have retained it in my memories. So that's why I would also use the minus sign four. Another great thing about this add-on is that you can actually change the ease of each card. If you go to the ease factor mode, you can see the ease factor of the cards. So normally it's set at around 2500, which is you know 2.5. That's for one normal card and everything. And that's gonna change whenever you answer easy or like hard or wrong. I would not abuse this too much because it's gonna mess with the Anki algorithm. But some people use this, and I personally used it for when when I started out Anki. I was you know I didn't have this add-on, so I was you know doing you know the interval thing where I look at hard and easy. But like no, I don't want to see this again in one month. So I actually hit again so I can see it earlier. And most of the time, this kind of mess up your algorithm. And you end up doing a lot more cards than you need to. So you can actually use this add-on to reset the ease of the card. You're like, wait, this shouldn't be at the lowest setting, which is like 1300, I believe. You can set it back to 2500 if you believe that the, the card is too easy for you. Personal preference I like to do was I changed the keyboard shortcut to N and M. So I changed my, to change the ease of the card, I would actually make the shortcut to N. In the settings and to change the to reschedule the card I change it to M so this way I can map the uh, shortcut on my controllers also and it's just right next to the space bar, space bar when you're using it so it's easy so for Anki user I feel like this is a great tool to have and it's help you overcome one of the biggest disadvantages of Anki is when you don't have control over your when you see your flash card because when you're doing a physical cards you don't have the space repetition algorithm but you can see whatever you want you're like oh shoot you know I want to see this game in seven days or something that you just kind of set it again for seven days but with Anki you didn't have that option but now with this add-on you do so thank you for watching guys if you have any more tips leave them in the comments if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up it's gonna help me with my channel and just help me let me know that you guys enjoy this kind of content if you want to see anything else um, let me know in the comment also and I will uh, try to make stuff about it. I know I've been getting requests for talking about um, pre-made decks for preclinicals. I will make a video about that soon. And also I'm gonna talk about is you know Zonki and all the, these uh, step one pre-made decks even relevant anymore now that step one is past fail. Look for those videos in the future. Thank you for spending time with me. Until next time, it's your boy.